Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have two things for you. A plan with me for this week using uh, Coco Daisy July to the Sea kits, uh, particularly rub-ons, and a flip through of my July setup at the end uh, when this um, plan with me is over again. So um, I am using for the second time this month uh, turquoise cardstock for my pages because I there were three um, different sets of rub-ons that came in the Coco Daisy kits this month. And I think that the rub-ons look particularly amazing against the colored cardstock because, um, because they don't have any outline. So when you put them down, when you get done rubbing them on the paper, they look like they've just been printed on um, or even painted on, which I think is a really cool effect. They look good on white paper too, but they look particularly amazing on the colored paper, I think. And since I had three pages of rub-ons this month, I wanted to use them up. So for this second month, in our second week rather, I am using uh, my turquoise paper, which I just had in my stash, and rub-ons and a white uh, jelly roll pen for um, for writing stuff in. And I just, I just think it's a really cool effect. Um, the first week I did this at the beginning of the month, I used a rub-ons that were all little sea creatures and bottom of the ocean plants and things, and I just thought it made a really cute little scene, and so I wanted to do it again. Um, my uh, washi is from Simply Gilded, and the number dots and all of the rub-ons are from Coco Daisy. Um, and you'll notice as I'm doing the rub-ons, one of my can't live without tools is the tweezers. Um, I use the tweezers to place it, the rub-ons, and then also when I'm done rubbing to lift up one side. You see me sort of testing it there. Lift up one side to make sure that the transfer really happened properly before I lift the clear um, acetate off the top. So I don't know, I don't think I could do the rub-ons as successfully um, as I can without the tweezers. Uh, so I'm just filling in things for the week, just cute little summary things. Um, it's almost done. And this is going to be a pretty cool looking thing. I'll, I'll show you some close-ups in just a moment as soon as this last little section is done. And you can see what I'm talking about. You can layer the rub-ons too. Here's one I'm putting over top of the one that I just laid down. So here we go. Take a look at the close-up. See how, um, there you go. See how there's no, like there's no edge. There's no discernible edge. It just looks like those are printed or placed, painted right on the page. I just, I love how it looks. So I really enjoyed using these rub-ons in my planner for a couple months. Um, so here is a flip through of July and um, I'm using a number six Foxy Fix uh, which is a standard size uh, leather notebook. Um, my planner itself is not standard size. It's my own uh, my own design to, in order to fit in the standard size Foxy Fix with the discs. Um, so here in the pockets, I've got a couple of pocket cards, little acrylic dots. Uh, I keep the kit card uh, here in the front pocket as well as the swatch card with all the colors from the kits. Helps to, to match pens and inks and things like that. Um, but you'll see, you see how my pages are very tall and narrow. They are three and a half inches wide by eight inches tall so that though that width with the discs will fit in the, no, the number six standard notebook. Uh, up front there, I made a pocket with uh, to hold a few pieces of the notebook, notepad paper rather. Ugh. And then here we are at my monthly section in the front. Um, I had to design my own inserts since this is not a standard size. So uh, these pages and my weekly pages, there's the blank one. Uh, I just created in Word using the table function. Uh, here's my second section with my weekly. And and there we go. Your, here's the first week that I did with the rub-ons. Isn't it cute? And then last week I used stickers. And now here I am this week again with the uh, layout I just showed you. And then my third section is just notes. 
So I have uh, just some grid paper in here in case I need it for any reason. And then my last section is personal. Um, at the front I have um, sort of a calendar with my design team obligations, dates written in, the challenge printables. Here's my tracker, which I have not used at all. Awesome. And then the next section is my um, bills and, and finances. And then at the end, I just have some blank pages from the Simple Dory in case I need more notes pages. And that is basically it. Um, I've got my Fur and You swag. I've got my Pen Gems pen. And I am set to go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.